Finally, a huge new Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door Nintendo Switch trailer just dropped over five minutes of brand new footage and goodies, including new features that help distinguish this game from its original GameCube counterpart. What's going on, everybody? It's Zach from Switch Force. I wanted to react to this live with you because this is my most anticipated Nintendo game. This is many of your most anticipated Nintendo games. We only have three, so you got a 33% chance of this being your top one. Anyhow, let me know in the comments down below anything new you spot, any new feature, any difference. Every time you spot one, let me know in the comments down below. Let's figure them all out together, and away we go. This just dropped. It is five plus minutes, and Mario is ready to paper waltz his way into our hearts. Now, this audio is in Japanese. It won't go up in America probably for at least 12 plus hours. So I wanted to get this to you right away so we could see all the glory. I I love the art. I love what they've done with the colors. And I think the fact that it's called Paper Mario RPG over in Japan is pretty funny. But this looks marvelous. Mario and Luigi. This is setting up the story. But just, oh my gosh, it looks so good. I think this is going to be one of the best looking Nintendo Switch games because of how vibrant the colors are. And because of how crisp it seems like all the cuts are, as they should be for paper. And this is a scene we have seen before. So show us some new things here. We've got some different partners. I'm assuming that's what this is going to go into here. Dude, that village is so... all oh, that. Now that's majestic. That's computer screen wallpaper right there. And we got some Goombas, some Koopas, and some rats. Remember the rat that kissed Mario in the trailer we talked about last week? Ooh, look at the beautiful scenery here. Now I will say, some of these textures look like... The treasure chest looks a little weird to me. But then this looks fantastic. We've seen this scene, but I think that's like such a great example. Oh, that's gorgeous. Hold up. Let's go back real quick. That jungle environment looks luscious. The boo house looks fantastic. This looks so good. This looks like it looks very crisp. I hope that it looks this crisp when we play it. It looks like maybe the cloud has a little bit of jaggy to it. That's one thing I notice sometimes about Switch games is they'll look in the trailers pretty clean and then you play them and it's like, oh, it's maybe not as clean. That happened to me with Princess Peach. Very nice. Yeah, buddy. Oh my goodness. I love the characters. I love... Yes, here we go. Paper airplane style into a nice roll. Down the chute. Grab the coins and get really bouncy. Dude, that's... I cannot believe that this game has been put away for as long as it has. Or maybe I can't believe that they haven't done like a true Paper Mario Thousand Year Door sequel. They've done Paper Mario, obviously, but not... I don't think to this caliber. Can we safely agree with that? We got Peach here, we got Bowser here, and we got Bowser going super style for his 2D segments, which is always a good time and leads eventually into Super Paper Mario. Uh, and we've got a bunch of, yeah, here are the battling friends that we've got with us. Look at the Piantas in the background. They're like, hey, this is no good. HP 2! Poor Goombas. So low on health. Imagine living with 2 HP. Dude, if you want to live an anxiety, like, fueled life, be a Goomba. 2 HP. One jump and you're out. One jump and you're out. That's terrible. Alright, we've got the, uh, the Buzzamy Ghost. With the big kisses. Blowing stuff. Dude, I think... I also think that some of the best characters Nintendo has made, at least in the modern era, were generated out of Paper Mario and were generated out of Mario and Luigi. Like, there's so much fun, I think, and so much spark that the writers had to realize these characters in a more, like, goofy, fun way than they typically... than we typically get to see the Mushroom Kingdom. Boom, blowing up walls, entering spooky castles, and swapping partners on the freaking fly because this game has it all. Dude, this is... This is gonna sell so many copies. I don't think it's gonna sell, like, 50 million, obviously. But I feel like this is going to be a bigger hit than when Mario RPG, uh, the, the SNES remake, released last year. I think this is going to outdo it by a ton. Because if you didn't know, right? Like, if you didn't know that this was a GameCube game, this looks like a perfectly amazing, very lively, fleshed out, fully featured, awesome Mario RPG. Like, and that, that type of game would sell amazing on the Switch. And so this, I think, will sell amazing. Maybe better than I've given it credit for. All right, talking about the battle system a little bit here. We got the trees popping, the audience, one of my favorite things. And we're taking a peek at some of our attacks. Uh, we got our jumping shoes on. We got some of our specials we'll probably get to see. Paragoombas flying high. They're showing sort of the active 
part of it where you click the button to do extra damage. I love that so much. Mash those triggers. In comes the Yoshi Storm. Very beautiful. Hold it and release. I think this makes RPGs like infinitely better in my opinion. I know it's such a small touch and they've been doing this for years, but active stuff with attacks is just so good. Sea of Stars has some of that, uh, which I freaking love. There we go. Fling those cannons to and fro. Watch them cry. Oh no, oh no. All sorts of different things we can upgrade and improve and spend on and put in our arsenal and bop the Kamek on the head until he is dead. Fire Flower, the clouds, pow! The sunglass, Koopas, and get Lakitu and his spinies out of here as well as the freaking colorless piranhas. I don't remember this guy's name. I also remember these guys' name. I, oh, I did not play a ton of this when I was younger, so that's why I need your help with like what is new. Okay, so this is now, I'm guessing, getting the part where we start to see some new features. This is the Pianta Parlor. I know this is newly different. I've already seen that on Twitter. Uh, different mini games and such. I'm not sure if these are the exact same or if there have been some twists on the mini games and changes. We've got different battle modes down here. What is that yellow gem? Um, concept art? Okay, that's, that's kind of par for the course. Cute pig. We've got music tracks. I don't, what are those yellow gems that they're finding? Anyone know? Is there going to be any sort of new content? It doesn't seem like, well, I mean, this not, might not be everything. They, we'll find out in the previews, hopefully, later this week, if there is, like, a new side story or side missions. But we know at least they're going to have concept art and a music gallery, neither of which are very cool, but the game itself looks freaking phenomenal. Are you noticing anything else? Like, unfortunately, I can't read Japanese, so I don't know if they're... Oh my god, amazing scene. Penguin? Detective Penguin? Yes, please. I don't know if they're referencing anything brand new or things that we haven't really seen thus far, but some of these sites are just incredible. Paper Mario, like this game, May 23rd, is going to be absolutely bombastic. Let's go back to where I think um, the last minute and a half seems to be where they do try to introduce new features. So let me know, like, what are you noticing? What are you seeing that might actually be new and different? I'm going to uh, let me look on Twitter and see if anyone's kind of talking maybe right now about some of the other stuff. Like I said, the concept art, obviously, the music gallery, obviously. Um... I don't know. It doesn't, it doesn't seem like they're revealing... Either there is no big new piece of content in terms of like, oh, like more story, or they're not revealing it in this overview trailer. I don't know if every overview trailer for, from the past Nintendo Switch re-releases or remakes um, has given away everything. So like I said, I would wait for the preview. But what are these yellow diamonds? Is collecting them unlocking this stuff? Is that what they're kind of tying together, or is it different? If you know, please let me know, because I would love to know, but... My takeaway from this is I am more eager than ever to play this. <laughs> such a beautiful game, such a brilliant title, and something that has taken far too long for us to get our hands on on Switch. But I'm loving that this year is slower so that we are able to be introduced to Paper Mario and the Thousand Year Door on Switch. If this is a full Nintendo year, we don't get this game. So there are some silver linings or paper thin linings to the Switch having a slower year, and it's that we get stuff like this. I cannot wait for May. Let me know any of the new features besides the obvious ones that you spotted in this trailer in the comments down below, and we'll cover the previews once they come out, and that should give us even more detail on if and when uh, we'll get to see you know, even more new content. But for now, just wanted to bring that to you right away. The game looks incredible. I'm so pumped for it. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay happy, stay positive out there, everybody. Thanks so much for watching. Switch Force, out.